Recent decades have witnessed great progress in human and technological developments across the globe. We live in an interconnected world with easier access to commodities and services. Life expectancy and living standards are better than ever before. However, this progress has come at a cost and brought new challenges. In a highly competitive world, we are encouraged to produce more and consume more. The natural resources are becoming scarce and climate change has led to extreme weather conditions. We have reached a time period during which human activities have had an environmental impact on the Earth's ecosystem. We have transitioned into a world with different vulnerabilities, including poverty, loneliness, and a rising pandemic of mental disorders and associated chronic diseases and disabilities, putting more pressure on health systems. The causes of these public health challenges are complex and lie beyond individual control. There is a need for a major shift in the current socio-ecological and economic models. What we have today, we may not have tomorrow. So act now for our health and well-being. Promoting health and well-being is at the core of the Sustainable Development Goals and the World Health Organization's 13th General Programme of Work. The WHO has called on decision makers to take bold political actions that would shift the world into a sustainable and resilient path. This cannot be achieved by the health sectors alone. The benefits are multi-sectorial and investments need to be made by all sectors. Ce qu'on a aujourd'hui, on ne l'aura peut-être pas demain. Alors agissez maintenant pour notre santé et notre bien-être. Greater political commitments are needed by the highest levels of governance and by all partners across borders to implement the required sustainable change to promote health and well-being. Lo que tenemos hoy, tal vez no lo tengamos mañana. Actúa hoy por nuestra salud y bienestar. Here are some ways to get started. Identify an entry point to integrate health and well-being into current policies. For example, solidarity, social cohesion, gender equality, equity, or leaving no one behind. This will integrate approaches and together form a platform for change. Возможности, которые у нас есть сегодня, завтра могут исчезнуть. Поэтому в интересах нашего здоровья и благополучия необходимо действовать сейчас. Then identify a champion to support the policy orientation. This can be at the highest level of the governance or at the local level, such as a city mayor. The process for developing policies and ideas to support it needs to engage all sectors, stakeholders and people at every level. To implement the policies effectively, a supportive governance structure should be in place to enable strengthened legislation and reduce health risks and promote health and well-being, share knowledge and build networks to address relevant public health issues. Transformative and collective efforts will be needed to ensure that we can reach the goals set in the SDGs agenda. What we have today, we may not have tomorrow. 